What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. Before I start the video today, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys once again for all the support you've been showing the channel. Something I've be, I've been forgetting to ask for is the likes, comments, and the shares. Just to remind you guys, if it's possible, do me a favor. I'm trying to get this video to 1,500 likes. Let's try that first. Also, comment on the video, even if it's just a, an, an emoji, um, and share the video. All of these things help the channel immensely. Okay. Now, with that said, <clears throat> today's video, we're going to talk about an incident that brought a lot of heat on me. The heat came from the administration. And the heat came from Sacramento. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to rewind for a second and talk about, we're going to, this is going to start in Pelican Bay. So in 1999, we're in Pelican Bay and um, there's a dude there from the area. There was a few of us from Santa Barbara County there, but there was one that was elusive. We didn't know where he was from. We didn't know who he was, but he had, I believe it was a C number, right? I have the incident packet for all these pictures. I have a CDC number. I really don't give a damn. But I believe it was a C or a D number. So he had been around for a very long time. All of us from Santa Barbara County acknowledged each other, chopped it up with each other. But him, he was always MIA. You'd see him and then be like, where'd that guy go? Right? I don't know where the hell he was from. At one point, I heard it was from Guadalupe, then it was Santa Maria, then it was Santa Barbara. Come on now. Those are different cities. And um, Guadalupe and Santa Maria are, 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 are pretty bitter rivals. So it was just a weird thing, right? So we we're like, hmm, we're going to have to look into this cat once we can get more information on him and actually sit down and see this cat. Well, prior to the riot, they tried to move a homie. The COs needed to do a, a bed move. And so they sent a homie from Chiques to this guy's pad, right? And he's going to move into the pad with them. And this, this Vato, he's an older cat. And he's like, hey, Holmes, first of all, where are you from? And he says, I'm from Chiques. And he's like, oh, no, I'm from Santa Barbara, Holmes. You know, you know what time it is. We don't get along, this and this and that. And so the, the homie's like, what? So basically, that Vato refused the homie. The homie comes out to the yard, and he's like, hey, Holmes, hey, let me holler at you real quick. You know who this dude is? And I was like, nah, where's he from? And he's like, he, he says he's from Bruta, I think. Well, he's Santa Barbara County, and I was like, what about him? He's like, they tried to move me in with him, and he said, nah, we can't sell it. We don't get along. I was like, what? Level 4, 180, Pelican Bay, and we can't sell up? I said, oh, no, that sounds weird, homie. We need to look into this cat. Right after that. The riot occurred. That Vato's on the super duper back burner. Irrelevant. There's other things that we're paying attention to and we have to pay attention to, right? So we all go to the shoe. People, whatever, wherever people go, they go, right? So when I get out of the shoe, I go to New Folsom. And at the time, they were having uh, orientation, a reception for us, whatever you want to call it, orientation. Fish roll. We're going to call it fish roll. That's what we call it. Fish Row was in eight block at the time, right? And I'm sitting there I'm, on, my, on my sink. My cellie's on the door, and we're looking out because we see, the, we see the slider open. We want to see who are the new arrivals. Lo and behold, shout out to Johnny. Lo and behold, this guy shows up. When I saw that, the light switch is right next to me. Boom, I hit the light switch. I told my cellie, hey, ask that about where he's from. And he said, another city in Santa Barbara County, right? And I was like, uh. but I'm not really paying attention. Like, I'm just looking at him, but I'm not trying to really get him to make eye contact with me or nothing like that. As soon as he walked out the door, I tell my Sally, hey, Holmes, we're going to have to hit this dude. He's saying too many different cities. He refused a homie. He refused a Sally, period. But then it was a homie. And then he made up this whole enemigo trip. So we, we got to hit this dude. Well. The guy disappeared. This dude 
His whole I, his nickname might have been Houdini. I know what his name was, but maybe his nickname was Houdini. Because he would land and then disappear. And nobody would ever know where the fuck he went. I never even saw on the alpha roster. When we get our hands on the alpha roster, I couldn't even figure out where did this cat go. And I could say this dude appeared and disappeared. Appeared and disappeared multiple times. And it was like, we're going to hit this dude tomorrow. Boom, he's gone. That night, he's gone. Okay. So flashback or flash forward now. We get another guy that shows up, right? And this dude, this dude was from 18th Street. And he's moving real funny on the yard, right? He um, starts telling the paisas, hey, to all the paisas that hit dope, hey, you guys don't got to kick into them dudes a third. Everything you're supposed to kick in, you kick into me. We don't know about this. So the paisas right away, they're not going to try to get caught up in a cross. So they come and they're like, hey, um, do you guys know who this dude is? We're like, nah, we saw him, but we don't know who he is. Why? Well, because he's saying that everything from us goes to him. We're like, really? Well, that's a lie. Everything stays the same. Nothing's changed. We'll look into it. Just go ahead and listen to what he tells you. Don't let him know you talk to us. But, um. We'll take care of this. So they knew, like, oh, that, that dude's in trouble. So when we start looking, we start digging around. Turns out there was uh, guerra and, and there was war in, in, in uh, Tehachapi. This dude was down as another. Came out, saw a rival from the faction that the war was with, and didn't do shit. Then got a special transport. Special transfer out of that institution before anybody could touch him up. Now, here he is here, and he's on a renegade shit, right? All of a sudden, he's collecting. He ain't nobody on the yard. Nobody ever heard of him. Then he starts hanging around this certain cop. He called himself Zap. Anybody that knows, knows. Starts wanting to paint murals on the yard for him. What? So this dude is... For sure, we're hitting this dude. We got to get this cat. Next thing you know, Houdini shows back up. I said, dear Lord, we got to get them both. So it was like Cinco de Mayo was coming up, and it was like, hey, we can't wait. And when I told the story about uh, when the Raza from Southern California did a pegada, did a hit, moved on somebody in the Bloods area, in the black area. This day is one of those days. This was Cinco de Mayo. That dude, Houdini, was coming out of his building. The shooters had been sitting on him, waiting for him. And because they, he was the more squirrely one, the one that was harder to get, harder to find, harder to hit, the other crew was watching them. They were, tar they were following around the dude from 18th Street. This dude had no clue. There were some serious hitters on his ass. Them hitters were watching the other dudes over there in front of Two Block, C facility, New Folsom. That dude came out of his building, made it onto the track, and then laid on that track because they jumped on his ass. Two dudes putting in work on him. When they moved, the other dude happened to be right in front of the white boy area or the white area. Let me see white. Right in front of the white area. Underneath the gun. And they jump on the dude from 18. And this dude starts rolling around like he's on fire. They ain't giving up. And he's got two big boys on him. Historically, especially New Folsom, historically, Cinco de Mayo, there's extra security all the time because there's been a lot of riots and a lot of moves made on Cinco de Mayo. That day, I think that extra security is what actually saved the, the Houdini guy. 
They were both hit, and they were both hit good. But had that extra security not been there that day, I think Houdini probably wouldn't have made it. They both made it, thankfully, or else I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be able to tell this story. This one, I don't know. You guys have to tell me, what is the, what is the message in this story? For the dude from 18, it would, what, would it be mind your own fucking business and know your place? For the other guy, would it be get a map and learn where the fuck you're really from? <laughs> I'm going to play for me today, guys. My bad. But once again, there's a glimpse. And, and, and just so you guys know, when I said it brought heat on me, after that, they sent that cop, Samurio, onto the yard. No matter of fact, he was already there. What was he doing there? But anyways, the heat came for me. And it was because supposedly the administration felt embarrassed by two dudes getting hit at the same time on Cinco de Mayo. And I, and I always thought, like, prison is prison. No matter who you are, like, the cops think, like, if they send a certain cop to the yard, then everything's okay. Right? Like, that cop will stop the violence. Ain't no cop stopping nothing in prison. All they're there to do is lock people in their cells and open the cells back up. Get paid great amount of money, a great amount of money to be babysitters. But the COs cannot stop anything. You can't blame them for what goes on unless, and usually, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to correct myself. I'm not even going to go down that line. It's the administration that plays people against each other. The COs can only open and close doors. That's it. So with that, let me get this out. I apologize. This is a late release. I had a lot of shit to do today. I had lunch with family today. I had errands to run. But here's the video. Everybody, please be safe. Be smart and tell the ones you love that you love them. Again, please, let's get this to at least 1,500 likes. Let's get some shares and some comments. I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you very much. I'm out.